there's my lighting i'm losing the sunlight like fast it's like three o'clock and it gets dark by four around here hi guys welcome back today i'm going to be doing my weekly wish list or washout for some new beauty releases let's we'll just go ahead and jump right in I'm going to be pulling, like always, everything from Trend Mood's Instagram, and I'll be throwing pictures up right over here. So the first thing I'm going to go over is the new Dominique Cosmetics Dominique Latte Palette. Now, if I'm being really honest, this palette isn't anything new. You gotta have a bunch of neutrals and, like, two pops of color. I have all of these shades in my collection many, many times, and... I don't watch her channel, I don't really know who she is, so I'm not really that interested in this product, so I'm not going to be picking up that palette in particular. The next thing I see isn't like brand brand new, but I think it was finally just released and it looks like most of it sold out, but I do want to pick up one thing from the MAC Cosmetics Lunar New Year collection, I'll throw it over there. I'm really interested in their eyeshadow palette, I only have one palette from MAC and I like it but it's not really shades that I would use that often. I have the basic bitch palette and I really like the burgundy shade in there. I love the highlighter in there but I really wanted to try out more MAC eyeshadows because everyone sings their praises. So I really want to pick up their little times nine from this collection. So I'm actually going to check tonight see if it's still in stock online. If not I'm heading to the mall tomorrow. I'll probably pick this up there. Okay so the next thing I see on here is the new eyeshadow palette from Pat McGrath. Now, this looks absolutely stunning. The shades are, they're so varied and they look incredibly vibrant, but if I'm being really honest with myself, I cannot splurge that much on an eyeshadow palette ever again. Just personally, because I've tried the Natasha the, the Natasha De What? Because I tried the Natasha Denona formula and the fact that I'm preferring like a drugstore palette over that one makes me realize I don't have to spend this much money on a palette like ever. So while I think it's beautiful and I'll probably watch a few reviews on it and maybe swatch it if I see it in store, I'm, I'm not going to be picking this one up. Next I have a new eyeshadow palette from NARS in here. It looks like it's one of the Narcissist palettes. It's got six six like they say hollow i'm not sure if it's actually hollow eyeshadows and they're really bright very spring kind of colors but i'm i find myself not interested in this at all maybe if i see swatches mm, i'm probably just gonna pass over that one next a palette that i really want to pick up it is the juvia's place festival palette now this is beautiful the shades are nice and bright and they swatch beautifully and they're they're varied and it's unique i haven't seen like these types of colors together in a single palette before and i've really been wanting to try the juvia's place formula so the minute that this one drops i will probably be picking it up let's see a new foundation that isn't from tarte because i'm not touching the tarte one with a 10 foot pole a new foundation i really want to try is from mark jacobs and it looks like it looks like it's called the shameless foundation and it's going to have 29 shades on first release i don't know if they're going to come out with more but from the picture it looks like they already have a pretty decent shade range i'm not sure what the formula is or if it's going to be more of like a matte or a satin or what kind of finish it's going to be but 24 hour long wear formula self setting which means you get a fresh natural finish that lasts all day so from that i'd probably guess like a satin finish but that's something i'm really interested in so it comes out i believe in february february 9th so once it comes to sephora i'll probably go ahead and pick that one up all right and the last one i'm gonna go over right now it looks like mac is coming out with some highlighter palettes looks like they have two of them right now it is get it glowing and then fresh awe if I were to pick one up, it would probably be the flesh. It's flash awe. Jesus Christ, Monica. Flash and awe. So if I were to pick one up, it would probably be that one. But to be honest, I have so many highlighters. I have a whole drawer of highlighters and there's no way I can go through all of them right now. And in my Pan That palette for the year, I'm actually using one of the shades in there as a highlighter and I've been using it every day. So even the highlighters that I have haven't been getting a lot of use. So I think I'm just going to pass on this palette, especially because it's like a full palette. There's three pans of product in there, and the pans look really big. Like, there's not a lot of space 
between the pans or between the pans and the packaging so it does look like you get a great amount of product in there but I feel like this would just sit in my collection I wouldn't be able to get a lot of use out of it so I think I'm just going to go ahead and pass that one up all right guys that's it for this weekly wish list or wash out I hope that you'll give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and you'll hit that subscribe button to see any of my future videos bye